Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to set maximum frame rate in Nvidia drivers. Now this is a new feature that's been added to the Nvidia drivers pack. So if you haven't got the very latest uh, Nvidia drivers, then you will need to get them. So let's right click and open up the Nvidia control panel and we'll take a look at the actual uh, settings here. So inside manage 3D settings, inside here you'll see there is no maximum frame rate setting which we can adjust and that's because we're using the old Nvidia drivers so what you'll need to do is go over to Nvidia and download the very latest drivers so I'm going to select my actual uh, graphics card here which is the RTX 20 series which is the 2070 Super make sure it's for Windows 10 64 bit uh, for my machine and you can see here the version is 441.87 that is the very latest version the release date was 2020.16 if you haven't got that one then it's not going to work so make sure you go to the website and download it once you've got that downloaded we can then go ahead and start to install it so let's go ahead and install that driver this will install over the old driver it will just remove the old one and put the new one on so what we're going to do here it's just let this install. You can see the NVIDIA display driver is version 441.87 and that is the one we need uh, to get it working correctly. Now what this update does is it gives you much more control over the maximum frame rate for either every individual game that you've got on your computer. You can set it up how you like or you can do it as a global setting for every uh, game on there in one uh, global setting. So let it check the system compatibility and then we'll let this uh, install and we can see what this new feature does. This should take a minute or so. There we go. So now it's asking you, do you want to install the NVIDIA graphics drivers and the GeForce experience? You can agree to those terms or you can just install the NVIDIA graphics driver itself if you don't want the GeForce experience. It's entirely up to you which way you like to do it. I'm just going to go for the Express install here, which is recommended. And I'll speed this process up, but it's just preparing for the install and it shouldn't take too long. There we go. And what we need to do here is close this off. Once this is done, we can then right click on our desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel. And we can open this up and then we'll be able to have a look at the new settings. So we're going to agree to their terms and conditions here and open up the control panel. Here we go. So we go to manage 3D settings, click on there. And as you can see, we're going to just drill down here a little bit until we find our required bit. Now, this is on the global settings here. You can see now we have maximum frame rate and it's turned off by default. Now, if you want to turn this on, you can just drop the arrow down and put it on. You can see it goes from right up to 240 frames per second on my card. And you can see that's what you can set it to. You can set it to whatever you like, but I'm just showing you here whatever it is now you can obviously work that out what's best for you now remember this is on the global settings so this will mean for every single game that you're playing what i'd suggest you do is use the program settings which means per game that you're using and you can use this for other things on your computer as well whether it be other types of software that needs that setting change so what we're going to do here you can see the drop down menu gives you a list of all the programs here and what I can do here is now go to the add feature and add a program in. You can see there's games inside here. If you try to select them, they won't um, work that way. You need to go add. Once you go add, you will be able to then uh, look for the game that you want to add the frames uh, per second or the frame rate to. So for instance, Red Dead Redemption, uh, you can go here and we can now make a change for that particular game itself. So we're not changing it globally, we're just changing it on this. And you can see it says use global settings on, and of course you would then be able to go in here and change this to whatever frame rate you want. So if it's a bit of a beefy game that needs to be dropped down, you could drop it down and it gives you a bit more control. It also allows you to cap certain frames per second for certain games. So if you don't want to have more than say 125 frames, and you want to cap it at that you can do by using that okay 
pretty straightforward, but you will need to change that setting inside there for each every game if you want to do it in the program settings. So let's just do one more here. We'll do PUBG and I'll show you that one as well. So let's take a look at PUBG. Again, we can add this selected program. We can go to maximum frame rate. You can see it says use global settings, turn it to on and then choose your frame rate of your choice. So if you want to, you know, do 125 frames per second, you can do and set it to that. As long as your card and your um, system can handle those frame rates, it should be fine. So that's how you can make changes to your maximum frame rate inside the NVIDIA control panel. Very simple. If you want to reset all these because you've messed around with them too much and now it's messed it up, you can go back into manage 3D settings and hit the restore button and it will restore this all back to default settings. It will restore all your other settings inside there if you've messed with them far too much. But if that's how you want to restore them, that's how you can. Anyway, I hope this one's been useful to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great weekend. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.